They say justice is blind. However, recently, I have to wonder if sometimes she takes a nap. A very disturbing story out of New York this past week as a Judge James P. McCluskey handed down a 10-year probation to 26-year-old Shane Peach after he pleaded guilty to sex with an underage minor. That girl was 14 years old and who he met through his job as a bus driver. The victim and her family claims it was rape, but the judge, who had never let the case go to trial, accepted the plea offer by the probation department. Shane also will be registered as a level one sex offender, which means he will not be included in the online sex offender database. Now, Judge McCluskey thought it was an appropriate sentence because Peach had no prior arrest and there was only, he was the only, there was only one victim. Finally, the judge charged Peach with unlawful dealing with a child and endangering the welfare of a child after he allegedly gave alcohol to his underage victim. Now, some details still obviously are very sketchy. However, do you really need to know more than a predator admitting that he was guilty of getting an underage girl drunk and then having sexual relations with her? I understand the legal process and why some would find a benefit in a less harsh crime by pleading guilty. But in cases which involve sexual abuse and minors, there should be no difference of a harsh sentence whether the suspect goes through a trial or pleads guilty. This lack of justice does not only cause irrefutable damage to the young victim, but also sends the wrong message to those who would have the same sick intentions. The idea that just because it was the first time this particular predator had been caught doesn't mean he will never have the same thoughts and act on them again. Now, this story has sparked some outrage on social media, but not enough to cause a review of the case and the verdict by the New York Attorney General judges. Like the, those that do not serve society, these kind of judges do not serve society well. And there are people when pe people deserve second chances for their crimes, but not when the victim will never have a second chance themselves. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.